Hey there, Nicole Young here from NicoleZ.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use filters and mask those filters to add selective color and tone enhancement only to certain parts of the image. In this image, some of the things I'll be addressing are intensifying the saturation of the tablecloth while leaving the food untouched. I'm also going to reduce the brightness in the background, but keep the foreground as is. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll start out by adding a filter. I'm going to go all the way to the top, and I'm just going to add that Accent AI filter to give a little bit of a boost. So I'll move that slider to the right just to get me off to a really good start. Next, I'm going to click on the Saturation and Vibrance filter. With this filter, I only want to intensify the colors in the blue tablecloth, and maybe a little bit of the food in the background. I'll start just by moving that Vibrant slider pretty far to the right, but as I do that, you can see the reds in the main image really start to get almost oversaturated. Let me toggle that on and off so you can see. So I'm going to use the brush tool, but only on this filter, in order to make those selective edits. I'll go ahead and click on this brush icon in that Saturation Vibrance filter, and I'm going to choose Brush. I want to make sure that I'm painting in so that little plus icon is visible, and I'm also going to increase the brush size by using the right bracket key. Next, I'm going to paint just in the blue areas. I'm also going to sweep the brush over the food in the background. When I'm finished, I'll go ahead and click Done. Now if I toggle this on and off, it's only adding saturation to the blue tablecloth and a little bit of that background area. Next, I'd like to reduce the highlights, but in only the background. I'll start by adding a filter, and I'll scroll down to the bottom and click on that Highlights and Shadows filter. I'm going to move the Highlights slider to the left, which reduces the highlights in the entire image. Next, I'm going to use a gradient to mask out that background area. I'm going to click on the little brush icon and select Gradient Mask. Next, I'll drag that gradient down from the top to create that mask. If I'd like to preview the mask, I can click on the little eyeball in the top left part of my screen. When I'm finished, I'll click Done. Now if I preview this filter, you can see that it's only affecting the background part of my image. Now I'd like to make some edits to the food in the foreground, and I really only want to intensify the tone. I think the color looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and add a filter, and in the Professional section, I'm going to click on the Curves filter. I'm going to add a subtle S-curve, so I'm going to drag from the top right and bring that up, and that adds a little bit of brightness to the entire image. Then in the lower left quadrant of that Curves, I'm going to bring it down to add a little bit of contrast. I'll toggle this on and off right now so you can see it's affecting everything, but I really only want it to affect the food in the foreground. So I'll click on the little brush icon in this filter and select Radial Mask. I'm going to draw a circle to start and then release, and now I can turn it into an oval just by moving one of those sides down. If I preview the mask, I can see that it's the reverse of what I'd like. So to fix that, I'm going to click on the Mask dropdown in the top left part of my screen and select Invert. And then I'll click Done when I'm finished. Last but not least, I'd like to add one more global adjustment to the entire image just to kind of give it a finishing touch. I'm going to select Add Filters, and I'm going to go up to the Creative section and choose Orton Effect. I'm going to move that amount slider to the right just a little bit, which kind of boosts the color and the tone and the contrast in the image, giving it a nice finishing touch. So by using filters and masks, I was able to create a much more refined edit of this food photograph.